Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome to the channel where I make how to videos from Mac Tips, Backend, Swift, Salesforce, and Game Development. Time to share what I've learned and I'm back with the next JS tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to integrate Google APIs from a Next.js app backend. We will use the official Google API client library to handle the authentication and API callouts, then learn how Auth2 works, then from Google Cloud Console, enable the Google API, set up the credentials, and Auth consent. Then we'll build the Next.js app step-by-step -step from the login to authorization, how to use cookies, then we're going to call the Google Drive API to list out our first 10 documents in our Google Drive from the Next.js app. Let's go. So here's a quick overview of what we're going to build. So we're going to build the Next.js app. Our user will click on a login. It's going to request for consent from the Google servers. We're going to get an authorization back. And we're going to exchange that authorization code for an access token. And then we're going to use that access token to call the Google APIs. So first, let's set up the app. So go to consolecloud.google.com and click on select a project. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it YT Next.js Demo and hit Create. Once that is created, select the project. Go under APIs and Services and enable APIs and Services. And we're going to enable the Google Drive API. Hit enable. All right. All right. So first step, the credential type, select user data. Hit next. Then give your app a name. I'm going to call mine YT Next.js. Select a support uh, email. You could add a logo. And I'm going to select uh, my email here for the developer contact information, save and continue, and then we're going to define the scope. So depending on the documentation of the app that you're using, it would define which scope uh, you need access for. So for the Google Drive API, just to list out the files, I just need the metadata. So metadata read only. So I'm going to define the scope. Remember the scope because we're going to use this on the app later. Hit update and save and continue now for the auth uh, client id for the application type this is going to be a web application so there's different options for different um, types so i'm going to define this as give it a name as well next js uh, client id and here's where you would give authorization to the origin for that for that request so because I'm developing locally uh, and on port uh, 3000, I'm going to define that like so. I'm also going to create another UI, this time without the port number. And we're going to define a redirect URI, which is um, your callback URL, where the information will get passed back. So I already have a design of the API route that's going to do, API auth to forward slash callback. I'm going to add another one. This time without the port and create and it's going to give us the um, client id so we're going to use that later cool so now let's jump back to auth consent so our app is not yet published so it's still on testing purpose so for testing you need to add a test user so i'm going to add myself as a test user using my email hit save All right that's it for now for from the console so let's jump into my terminal let me open this clear that out and i'm going to create a new next.js app so create next app latest yt um, i'm going to call this next.js google i'm going to select all the defaults Right, so I'm going to cd into that directory and open it up in VS Code. First thing I want to do on VS Code is install using npm 
Google APIs. I'm also going to install a UI framework called uh, ShadeCN. So I'm just going to keep the defaults. And I'm going to add a button. I'm going to add the button component so I can use it later. And let's run the server, npm run dev. So I'm running on port 3000 localhost. All right, so we don't need all this boilerplate uh, code, so I'm just going to strip them all out and just have a plain button. So open the page, um, main page. Just going to remove all of these. Don't need the image as well, but I need the button from the components and this button would just say login to Google. Save. So this button doesn't do anything yet. We need to determine what the authorization URL is. So we could do that using the um, Google client library. So here I'm going to create a new folder called utils and a new file called Google auth.ts and I'm going to import the Google library and I'm going to create then I'm going to create a cons called OAuth to client yep autopilot is suggesting this so new Google auth that auth do and then you need to specify a client ID I'm going to remove the word Google just keep it generic and we need to create a new environment file. So .env.local. And for now, I'm just going to export this as default. Export default or as client too, so we don't have that error. And I need the client ID, client secret, and redirect URL. So I don't want the one uh, Copilot is giving me, so just like so. I'm going back to um, the console here and click on credentials and then the client ID and we're going to copy the client ID from here. Client ID, client secret, and the redirect URL, the one with the port number. There you go. And let's go back to the page and let's import that auth to client constant that we created. So doing this so that it could be accessed anywhere from our app. So from the page app. So first thing I'm going to do here is define the scope. So the scope would be an array and depending on what you enable on the scope that would be the scope that you would enter here so we enable the Google Drive metadata read only and I'm gonna create an cons another cons and this time say authorization URL and autopilot would do the rest auth to client generate auth to this would accept uh, two parameters the access type and a scope so it's going to pass the scope so offline means we're going to get a refresh token but we're not going to cover a refresh token on this uh, tutorial so i'm going to import the link component from next.js and wrap this around a link so href then authorization url Cool. Save and let me resize our page here and open up the localhost app. So now when I click on login to Google, because I'm already logged into my Google account, it's just going to ask me which account I want to select. So I'm going to select the uh, Allopsman where we have the console configured and it's also saying that the app isn't verified, which is fine. Click continue and this is app. Um, wanting access to the Google Drive uh, information so click continue 
and notice the URL it redirected me back to the callback URL that we specified so we haven't built this route but it sent us a code so we need to handle that code and exchange it with an access token so let me go back to the app create a new folder called API OAuth2 and another folder called callback and finally the file route.ts so on the route.ts I'm gonna import I'm gonna import the next uh, next response from Next.js server I'm gonna import the cookies from Next.js as well and then I'm gonna import the OAuth2 client that we created so this is going to be uh, an async function which is get with the parameter of requests so first thing we want to do is get the URL code from the search parameter and also check if there is an error pass on the URL parameter so let me just copy this so basically get the search param get if there's a code Get if there's an error and I'm gonna paste do a quick check so if so if there's an error just return that and then we're gonna do a try catch so try because we want to replace that code for an authorization token so code for that is just this say const token uh, and if I do a console log here, say tokens, and I also want to return this as a next response and redirect to a new URL called dashboard. So new URL dashboard. So this dashboard is where we would list out the Google Drive files. Rec URL. Alright. And because this is a try catch, I want to catch the error and return if there is a problem exchanging the code so Google uh, OAuth error failed to exchange code All right save that and if I we're not using the cookies yet I'm gonna um, show you why so if I refresh this you would see it got redirected to the dashboard and under the logs here for the server you can see we have the access token we have the refresh token scope and the token type so now we want to do is save the access token so when we're redirected to the dashboard we should have access to that token and make a call to the google drive so to do this i'm simply going to store the access token to a cookie so let me replace this with this. So we, I'm naming the cookie called I'm naming the cookie as Google underscore access underscore token, and the value would be this one or it could be null. Cool. Now let me go back to the page here. Let me go back to the app here and create a new dashboard. So dashboard dot page dot tsx, and this would be this page cool so I'm gonna format this a little bit so it's just gonna say Google Drive uh, maybe Google Drive files and I don't need that but I want the OAuth2 client that we have I also want to import um, cookies from Next.js and I want to import Google from 
the Google APIs. Cool. So what I want to do here is uh, set the access token on the auth to client. So to do that, I'm going to create a cookie store from the cookies and then from the cookies I'm going to get the Google access token and then whatever value is on that um, cookie and set as the access token and then I'm going to call the auth2 client that we imported and set credentials passing the access token cool so that should allow us to call any Google API so I'm going to call the Google Drive API so I'm going to create a variable here called files which I'm going to populate later so const drive is equal to Google Drive and then the version of the API that I'm going to call is version 3 cool now I'm going to do a, another try catch here and basically we're going to try to retrieve files from the Google Drive um, so this is the code so it's throwing an error because this is async and all the rest is not yet complete so basically drive files list the all the auth here we're passing the auth to client file size is 15 and then the from the files I'm retrieving the ID and the name and then from the results I'm populating back the files that I defined cool so now I'm gonna do a catch here for any errors and I actually want to say something else so here so if something went wrong please log in again this could indicate that the access token didn't work so they need to log in again so I'm getting an error here I'm just gonna console log the error for now so we know what that is cool and now I just need to loop through the files for the um, for the files retrieved from Google Drive so I'm gonna create a UL map and yep Google uh, Copilot suggested it files so files is squiggly because it could be blank so I'm gonna close that like so and I'm getting an error saying something went wrong and that's because the we haven't stored the cookie yet when I did this so to do this I need to re-authenticate myself again log into Google select the account click continue there you go so when I got redirected to the dashboard because I set I handled the cookie on the callback when I got redirected to the dashboard I check if the cookie has the access token and then queried a Google Drive for the first 15 items so if I change this to 10 you'd see returns me just the 10 articles or 10 contents on my Google Drive here cool so there you go quick and easy way to call the Google API using the Google API client from uh, Next.js app hope you like this video thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to the channel cheers bye for now